for you guys, is it now viable to buy the Mac Mini? This is the definitive uh, answer on that. Um, yes, if you have the funds, but... Now I came to rock, I came to move the crowd, I came to scream it out loud. Hey, what's up, heroes? Thanks once again for tuning in and hanging out with your nerdy friend. I don't have my glasses on. Um, I'm sorry if you hear the fan right now. It's because the... I'm using obviously the <laughs> the Wacom to light myself because good lighting, right? Um, it's been a minute. It's been a while. Uh, I've had the Mac Mini now for uh, since November 11th, and things have changed, right? Blender's come up with a new update. Cycles, it still kind of it runs and doesn't run. I don't know how to explain that. Like you can view things in Cycles, but Right now, at least on my Mac Mini, I cannot um, export um, cycles. Uh, I would still hold off. Like I said, if you're if you are fully just using Blender to make money, cycles isn't working for me. Doesn't mean it's not working for people, but it's not working for me. So I wouldn't put my eggs in that basket yet. And then also, there's this weird glitch when I do export things out of Blender on the Mac Mini. For some odd reason, if I put that footage into Final Cut, like my Final Cut just freezes. I don't know what that is about. I'm trying to work it out. I'm trying to understand it myself. I, I don't know where that comes from. Why it does that? It's some type of codec thing. I don't know what it is, but it never froze on my laptop. For some odd reason on the Mac Mini, it cannot stand it. So we'll explore that later one day. But yeah. Also, if this video changes later on, it's because of um, the camera's about to die. <laughs> I didn't charge it. Okay. Anyway, um, what else has been updated? My TV Paint has been updated. TV Paint actually released a new update for this dongleless version of itself. So, so now TV Paint works. Um, my Wacom, Wacom still hasn't released a lot of drivers, but it works for the most part. So you're not gonna have that much of an issue. So for you guys who want like an update video, I'm just getting straight to the point. Yes, now the Mac Mini is working. Photoshop for me also is working now too. Um, I don't really have too many issues with it anymore. Everybody, some some people are having problems with Bluetooth issues and you know the keyboard not connecting. I have not run into that issue, so I don't know where they're getting that from. But for me personally, I have not had that issue when it comes to my Mac Mini. Uh, biggest issues that I've run into, it's it's really not, man. It's just so quick. It's like what I told you guys before. It's just super quick. Um, like I said, I use the Wacom. 24 inch Cintiq Pro non touch. I have a 16 gig, one terabyte Mac Mini hooked up, and I'm using the Wacom Cintiq as my monitor. So that's the whole setup. And then I have my iPads. Um, I have my iPad Pro 2018 and my iPad Pro 2016. Uh, so all my whole little workflow, my little my little setup here, it works for me. I am, I've been getting jobs and been able to push uh, push out content, uh, editing video, obviously on Final Cut. It's not a problem. So everything that I need as myself as a creator, I am actually being I'm actually able to produce and create content. So for you guys, is it now viable to buy the Mac Mini? This is the definitive uh, answer on that. Um, yes, if you have the funds. But, uh, I would still say wait maybe till March, maybe April to buy it. Just in case, you know, Apple's weird. Sometimes they like to drop things later on. Like, they have a space gray version of it or something. I don't know. But I would still wait till then. Just, just to see if Apple does anything. Because Apple's weird like that. Um, yeah. But that's, that's my whole two cents. That's a full update. All the softwares are now working on my Mac Mini. Uh, they work well. They work fast. Um, that weird issue with the blender file. I'm probably gonna make a separate video about that. Uh, I don't know why the blender file, when it comes to editing in Final Cut, Final Cut just hates it and freezes. That's the only time my Mac Mini freezes. But overall, final word is buy the Mac Mini if you want to. It's working for most programs that you use. And yeah, it's still kind of finicky a little bit. So maybe, uh if you're a true working professional and you need and you need a new laptop or a computer for the photoshops for the yeah, Adobe Cloud stuff for Final Cut editing, Premiere editing, then I would do it. For animators, I don't know. I don't know 
I have, Blender works only in Eevee. I don't know about Maya. I have to download it. So I want to. I'm just trying. To, I don't want to give you wrong advice. I'm an honest person. I wouldn't buy it yet if you're an animator. So guys, how you doing? Uh, I was recording the video. The camera died. <laughs> I'm recording on my on my uh, Logitech uh, 1080 HD. Yes. Anyway, subscribe if you want to. I don't do the bell notification thing because I don't even know what I'm going to post, so don't do all that stuff. But, uh, just keep creating. Enjoy yourself. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Is there any software you want me to test out uh, on the Mac on the Mac in one chip or on the iPad so I can test that out and give it a shot for you since I have them, since I know that not a lot of people have access to these things. So, yeah, there we go. Sorry about the fan noise once again. I'm using it to brighten myself. Look at it. Look at me. Look at this. Look at this lighting right here. <laughs> All right, end the video. <laughs> now I came to 